Hi everybody, it's Julie, and I'm here with the tutorial on how I made the mini the mini um, flip bag using one of these business size envelopes. So they're the envelopes that are like nine and a half by four and a little bit. Okay, so I use the ones that do not have a window. Um, I don't know that that would matter or not. I'm going to go ahead and close the envelope to start with. So I only have a few minutes to to make this video. <laughs> Husband is home this week, but he's only home for one week. The last couple years, he's the um, place is shut down for uh, two weeks. This week, only one week, so. Um, so here we go. Go ahead and. I'm going to close two of them. Okay. So, um, the easiest way to do this is to use your scoring board okay and if you don't have one you can just measure and um, go ahead and you know just make your your lot your lines it's it's not going to be that big of a deal um, I'm gonna go to the quarter inch mark here Whoop. can't see <laughs> quarter inch and I still don't have my glasses I left my glasses at my parents house on Christmas and I don't go back until after New Year's so I'm using reading glasses but I can't use them when I'm doing this kind of a project because my eyes have to go back and forth and I'll end up seasick Okay, so yeah, I, I'm sorry I was talking and I didn't explain that, but instead of um, going a quarter inch here and coming over and going a quarter inch here, I literally turn it over and so I'm in the same spot and I have the same size on each side. Okay, so I'm just making a smaller pocket. If you want a larger pocket, you can go ahead and do a larger pocket. Um, line just know that that takes away from the the bulk of your um, thing so this is my martha stewart scoreboard and it was a gift from my friend adrian she ended up with two of them and she gifted that to me um and i use it all the time and i love that it has the little place to hold the the bone folder that I should be using right now. <laughs> yep. She also bought me my very first bone folder um, when she found out that I paper crafted. She came over and we played with paper one day and the next time she came she brought me a bone folder. She goes, you should have one of these. And I'm like, oh my gosh, how did I ever do all this without it? <laughs> So very, very cool. Okay. So there we go. So I have, and this is um, a mini envelope with an accordion pocket is what I call it. So next I'm just going to pull out my um, Fiskars cutter. I am going to be getting a new cutter. As soon as I've paid off all that HSN, <laughs> which I think is this month, then I can go uh, buy a tool. Maybe sooner. Could have done it if I hadn't um, overdone it on the after Christmas at Dollar General because I did not want to go to town. But I got stickers and I got well you'll see tomorrow or today depending on when this video goes up 
or you may have already seen it. Okay, so I just went ahead and I cut both edges about a quarter of an inch, actually a little less, so probably an eighth of an inch. So here we go. And we're gonna go ahead and open our envelope and press down on the center of our score line. Okay, so there we go. Now we come along. And we're gonna do two of these. We're gonna make one with this quarter inch and then I'll go back and show you with a little bit bigger. Um, and we will do the, the decorating of the outside on this video, but at a later date we'll put the goodies and stuff in it. I just had people that wanted to know how to actually put the envelope together. There we go. Okay, come back. We'll throw these away. Bone folder, bone folder, bone folder, bone folder. Okay, so there is my accordion envelope, and you see how you could use this for a pocket in your um, junk journal. And you'd actually have room to put something inside of it instead of having um, things get stuck. So um, we are now at a little over, what are we at? Right about nine inches, just a little over nine inches. I'm going to go ahead and look at this. I do have, this is what I want to put on the outside, this little label that I have here. So I want my pocket to be at least that big. So if you've already found something that you um, want to use for your part of your your um, final project, then go ahead and use that to measure. Okay, so I am at just a little bit over three inches. I'm going to go ahead and use my bone folder and make the crease. And next, now you could just go ahead and pop your pocket down, but I do want to, um, to have some of this, it's so pretty, this pink quilted paper. I got this pink paper um, in a mat stack pad at Michael's and it was marked down. I think it might have been after Easter or after spring. Oh my gosh, it's just so pretty. Um, I was cleaning my desk, finally. I still had stuff on my desk from um, the, not on my desk right here, but over there, from the Venus flytrap costume. <laughs> Yeah, so um, desk needed cleaning. Okay, so I'm gonna put that there and then I'll be able to put the pocket down. And if I choose to have two separate pockets, which I think I will on this one, then um, you see that embossing, that quilt embossing? Oh my gosh, so pretty. So you see that you can do that this way and it kind of looks like a fence. And this is what I usually see people use. But look at this side. And to me that just, oh, just makes me want to crawl inside. <laughs> like it's a comfy quilt. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm using my glue. Now, of course, again, if you need another pocket, you could, you could every time you're gluing paper down, pretty much you can turn it into a pocket. This time I am not. I'm going to go ahead and actually use this. Okay, and you see I've used the wrong side of the envelope as my front, just like I do on my flip bag, because I'm going to cover this. It's going to make it stronger, and that way 
all my places have that are showing are going to be um, going to be the the straight and with no seams. Okay, so there we go. Okay, um, so I don't need this. I'm not going to make this pocket be real tall. And I don't want anything that I put in here to get hung up on this. So I'm going to go ahead and put some glue here. Okay. And that will glue this and stop anything from going down and possibly getting hung up on that. Okay. Then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to put some glue along the edge. And that will make this a pocket. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and make sure that this all gets put down. Oh, I wonder if I have a pretty tag that matches. I move things around, so it's gonna. It's like gonna be. Oh, they they used to be over there, and now they're right there the Anna Griffith tags because you know getting um, past the holiday I still have holiday stuff over there because um, I'm gonna be doing December daily uh, starting well hopefully starting soon <laughs> um, it's hard to do a project that you need to be able to pay attention to um, and it's hard when my husband's home and he wants to go, it's like come in and he'll go I'm going here you want to go with me <laughs> well yeah <laughs> so um, so if you haven't even started your December daily yet but you got all your stuff and you want to do it please come along we'll be doing that I'll still have other videos as well so um, so I have all these beautiful tags from Anna Griffith that I got. Um, oh my gosh, they're just so pretty. Then I have some Heidi Swap tags uh, or Project Life cards here as well. So anyway, so there is the pocket part. And then over here I have my label and as you can see it sticks off the side just a little bit I'm just gonna round that off just cuz I, I don't want the don't want it going off the edge like that okay so there we go now we're going to go ahead. I'm just going to go ahead and add this. I think this is going to be a Valentine one. I'll have it all ready to just make the embellishments and fill it for my swap partner. Um, many people have asked. I've answered several, but I just really haven't had time to sit down and answer all your questions. So I'm going to start trying to do that in my videos. Um, I'll try and answer you directly on your question when I can um, but I've I've taken on some some stuff <laughs> I um, help my mom once a week and it's out of town so I'm gone for like 12 hours um, which is awesome I get to see my mom and my dad and my boys and my um, my brothers and um, but it it really that one day was the day <laughs> <laughs> that I would catch up on all my my social media writing answers and and stuff. So I'm I'm still struggling to figure out how to to fit it all in. Um, so I just attached this label to the front. Now the other thing you could do is you can take and just put a square on the front. You could put a square of another. Um, another print or whatever and um, 
and then you want to go ahead now so now I have my pocket here okay we still we're still drying though so one thing about wet glue is you <laughs> and especially when you want the edges to stay down okay so I have this pocket here and then I have this little pocket behind to put a tag and that is how I'm gonna make this um, this look pretty you know, look pretty okay so now the other thing that I've done is to put as put a handle on it because then it becomes a decoration and um, I've done that several uh, several times on my flip bags I've left the handles before because I just thought it looked nice um, now when I did the swap in Swapper's Corner my swap partner um, she left she, she left her handle she used I guess she used a bag because she said I left the, my handles on it um, but I go ahead and put handles on it and that way it like I said it becomes a little decoration um, the, I think the handles are kind of cool um, so for this one, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use this, um, wired pom-pom and you might remember this. I used it on my Christmas one. I still have a little bit of it left. Okay. So I'm going to come over. I'm going to cut so that I have a little wire left and cut this one so that there's a little wire on this side. I'm going to come in and okay so it's, this is how deep my um, pocket on this one is going to be okay it's still got room to put stuff in so I'm going to come in and use my crocodile and just cut a small hole on both sides okay so see I've got a small hole on both sides and um, then I'm gonna go ahead and put an eyelet because I have them I that's and it will strengthen it okay so there's a little pink one and another little pink one so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set the color on the outside of the envelope or the bag. It's now a bag, sort of. And come down and... Okay, I have to do this over here because I... Well, two reasons I can't see. Okay, so I've just added an eyelet there okay we'll come and we'll add one to the other side like looking for those reading glasses <laughs> I don't know where I left them okay there we go so we have an eyelet on each side it does double duty it also helps to keep the the little pocket open and then we'll just take our little wired pom-poms now I would also cover the back I'm gonna wait and find out what um, what theme I'm doing for this I mean to me I want to make sure that if it's going to be Valentine's I might want to put a Valentine paper back here so I'm just um, so same thing I would just cut it to fit so it would want to be want it to be a little longer than that or you could put a second pocket back here um, yeah so 
Now we're going to come around and just put this in from this side. There we go. And there we go. So now, of course, the the decorations is what's really going to make this cute. And um, so stay tuned I when I find out <laughs> what kind of um, envelope I need, then we'll come back and make the embellishments. So really quickly, let's go ahead and we'll do this one. And... So we were going to make this one a little bit bigger. That one was the quarter inch. So let's go with, see if we do half inch. That's going to make our, that's fine. We'll go ahead and go with half inch. It's going to make our bag smaller, but it'll be thicker. I mean, there will be more room to put stuff inside. So if you want to put more stuff inside, you have, um, you know, something bigger, a candy bar or something that you want to put inside. Wouldn't these make cute valentines that you could give to your friends? And, um, you know, you could put a lip gloss or something inside if you're, if you're making the thicker one. You could even make it thicker and skinny. <laughs> and you could put your card in this front pocket and make it part of the decoration. Um, I've done that several times where I decorate, I, I'll buy plain bags after Christmas, like right now, the plain red and green bags, and, um, or the red and white dots, the ones that don't look Christmassy. I will buy those, and then I will, um, use those to wrap gifts and put um, a clear envelope, clear bag in the front that's the size of my card and the card actually becomes the decoration of the bag. So, okay, so there's our, our half inch. And sealing the, the bottom of the envelope. I can't even grab things with this thumb. Oh, well, we'll just go down further. It'll be a shorter bag. It's all good. Okay, so now we go in, open the bag, fold it up. So just adding this accordion style to your pockets and your envelopes, make it so that you will have room to put something. So okay. So like I said, it's gonna be a way skinnier envelope or bag, but Look at all that room that you have there compared to there. Okay, so you'll do the same thing like you did with the other one. Oh, you'll want this to be your inside. You'll pull your bag up to the place that you want it. Bone fold it. Decorate, decorate, glue it down. Add a hole, decorate the back, and then fill it with fun stuff. So that is how I make my the base of my mini pocket, um, no, my mini flip bag. So one of the other things that we'll show you really quickly that I used in the Christmas one was some of this garland. And I use that to fill this pocket. 
okay? And then I was able to come back in and I, um, well, I just have the toothpick here, but I used a couple of things on toothpicks to decorate in here. Um, let's see, I don't know. I did, uh, on the front, I did a clothespin decoration. Yeah, you could put a, a paper, uh, an altered paper clip down there also. Now for that, the one that I made before, I went ahead and I made, I had a tassel. I think I had a tassel. Um, or I might have had a, a um, paper tassel. I don't remember. But um, so anyway, so this is a tag that's in that back pocket. This is in the front pocket. You could put candy in there. I mean, there you go. Isn't that fun? Dove chocolates. Yes, dove chocolates. <laughs> okay, so that is the little bag, um, mini flip bag, and how to make it. I'd love to see what you've made. You can come and show me in my Facebook group, Scrap All About It. Uh, it is a really fun group. And um, it is growing like crazy. Um, and it gives you a chance to ask questions, share. I have giveaways in there. Right now the giveaway is show us your Christmas tree. Um, is it fake? Is it real? And that is in the group. And my December daily, I will be doing... Um, I have a December daily... Uh, event going on in the group and I have a couple of um, giveaways coming up in that as well as I will be sharing um, as I make my December daily. I decided this year I had so much going on and then add on top of it the worry um, for my family and friends because of the fires. Um, I decided, I made an executive decision <laughs> and decided I would do my December daily after. Um, I am so glad I did because I got the coolest ephemera on the last couple of days before Christmas that I cannot wait to use in my book. And I don't have to wait and I'll use it all on those two days. I can use it throughout my book. So um, stay tuned for that. Um, I'm also attempting <laughs> a planner journal. Um, I have my own setup for a planner that I put together last year that I have actually used in a handwritten form for a long time. Over 12 or 13 years, I, um, ah. 13, 14 years, I, um, it was what I used when I was earning my car in Mary Kay. It was how I kept track of everything from how the electric, if the, if I called the electric company, if I paid a bill, if somebody paid me, if, um, everything was in there, there's a place for everything. So I am going to attempt to put that together in a junk journal form. I know that it works in a binder form for sure. And because that's what I had for last year until I tried the traveler's notebook thing, which was really cool. Um, but now I have more going on and I really need to go back to, um, to the one that, that documents every little thing. So stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, and I have two giveaways, so I'll be coming back with those giveaways later today. Find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to subscribe. Have, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And um, yeah, have an amazing day. Bye.